There we go. There we go. First one of the morning. You guys, welcome back to Clayton Shook Outdoors. I did a couple intros earlier. I don't think they worked very well in the dark. I'm out today. Still some first ice walleyes. And today we're going to talk about spoons. About flutter spoons more so. But we're going to talk about jigging spoons today. I've been fishing lots with rattle baits. But today I just wanted to do the spoon thing and talk about different techniques for that. So first walleye of the morning, nothing major. But uh, hopefully there's some more to come today. So, like I said, intro. Who didn't really work out this morning in the dark, just felt dirty. But I uh, worked my way out to uh, one of my favorite first ice walleye spots. It's four or five inches of ice, took me about 45 minutes to an hour to walk out here spot barring my whole way out it's good ice the whole way a couple of uh small cracks to cross to get here but it's a long it's a long walk hauling all that gear not gonna lie but i got set up just kind of at first ice or sorry at first light not first ice of course it's first ice i got set up at first light uh, i'm on my spot spot hole or hole three already i fished uh in 27 feet for a little bit had a couple marks no fish came to 29 feet a couple marks uh no fish and got to 30 and i just caught my first fish of the morning so yeah we will uh as this video progresses we're going to talk about jigging spoons particularly the flutter, flutter type style spoon and why i i like it for walleyes especially when you're fishing a little bit deeper water like 30 feet there's just so much you can do with the flutter type spoon so yeah enjoy the video guys don't forget uh, to subscribe, like, you know, all those fun things that you, you do on YouTube and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm too old for YouTube, feels like. But yeah, do all that stuff and uh, let's just keep doing some fishing. That sounds so staged and so lame. Just let it flow, Clayton. Come on. That was brutal. You're better than that. You're better than that. I know you are. I got some good videos out there. If you guys, this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, go through the, the archives and... Uh, Find some videos, comment on some of your favorites, and yeah. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, that was a weird, 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 weird bite. Weird bite. Like, I. That double hook set was not intentional. I tried to pull up. I thought I had it. And then I, it just felt weird. <laughs> so I know that's gonna look really, really weird. But I, I promise you it was, it was weird for me too. That's a nice walleye though. It came right up pretty quick. Nice walleye, nice walleye. Yes, that's a good one right there. Nothing wrong with that fish. That's gonna look so weird though. Awesome, I was just pumping the jigging spoon look at pumping it up and down and he uh ended up eating it off the bottom he chased it up once and uh didn't connect so i put it back down on the bottom push it around that mud a bit and he come up and he leveled it come on come on don't bite me don't bite me there we go one more look and back down nice fish like a 23 24 inch or something like that cool that's what I'm using right now. The new uh, large size dinner bell. It's kind of a cross between your flutter spoon and then a, j a spoon you can kind of pound on the spot. You can tell it's got lots of noise. Got tipped with a piece of minnow head. And uh, yeah, that one was, that was just so awkward and so weird. But we got her done. We got her done. Even I make it look awkward sometimes too. Okay, I'm on like hole four or five maybe something like that i've been bouncing around a little bit second fish of the day the the idea with the whole the, the the flutter spoons what make them so good is there's just so many different ways you can fish them best way thing just to let them free fall all the way down to the bottom and they're going to shoot out somewhere to the side and then you just kind of walk it back all the way to underneath you so sometimes it's even going to be outside of your cone angle and you have it tipped with a, a minnow head or an eyeball or something like that it's not going to flutter as far 
and it's gonna take away some of the action, but when the bite's really aggressive, I definitely recommend fishing it with no bait at all, and then if they be a little bit more coaxing, use the bait. But anyway, back to what, back to what I was saying, is that you can, you can let it flutter out and you just walk it all the way back to the hole. Now, if you're marking a fish, you can still fish it nice and slow, little twitches, pull it up off the bottom, get them to eat like that, pound it in the sand right below you. But if you're not marking anything, don't be scared to reel it up all the way, or almost, you know, like five feet from the bottom, or from the bottom of the hole, let it fall all the way back down again. Let it slide in a different direction, and you just kind of walk it back again like that. The, that what the walking does is just it allows you to attract walleye that could be in the area, and they come by, and honestly, in my opinion, it represents a crayfish. Walleyes love crayfish, if, if you guys don't know that. And to me, that's what it represents, is a crayfish that's out there and kind of just kind of hopping along the bottom, working its way. And the walleye gets behind it, and starts to track it. And sometimes it might not eat it, but it all of a sudden you'll get it to the bottom of the hole, and then you can start to work it up at an upwards angle, and that's when it's going to eat it. But it just, it, they're, they're curious, right? They're like, what's over there disturbing all that mud, walking around? I can say walking, but it's more like a jump, a jump. I just, that's the term I call walking a flutter spoon. So it's a technique I've been using for a long time. Uh, it's been very, very good. You can uh, use it in sandy situations and when the bottom's muddy too. Now if I'm fishing a rock pile, this is gonna sound so lame, this is all just theories. I do something completely different with it. And I filmed a show with In Fisherman one year and I might've talked about it on there. I don't know if they aired it or not, but. What I'll do is I'll take the flutter spoon and I'll lay it on the rock like that, on the rock pile. And then I'll just hardly move it. And I'm doing the same thing. Crayfish love the whole, and being inside of rocks. And it's just like this. And the part of the spoon is still sitting on the rocks and part of it's kind of just moving up and they'll come by and they'll eat it right off the rocks. Oh, that just crushed me. <laughs> that one hit it with some authority. I'm not saying it's big, but it leveled me. <laughs> it's when I was free falling it back down, it's when he grabbed it. That's the, the cool thing about the flood, like a flutter, a flutter uh, type style spoon is you never know when they're gonna hit it. They could hit it as it's falling. They could hit it when you're just hardly working it. They could come up and just crush it like this, <laughs> like it's gone. He crushed it. Finito. Might need pliers for this one. Holy. Oh, no, it just spun in it. His hooks are still on the outside. I changed colors to a gold. Still running a dinner bell. That's going to be the whole theory of the day is different flutter style spoons. I might go uh, maybe to, uh, oh, what's it called? The slender spoon as well. It's another flutter spoon I really like. But for the most part, I'll probably stay with the, the dinner bell. Nice Walter. Moved to a different hole again. This is my third hole of the day. Sorry, not third hole of the day. Third hole that I've caught uh, fish in. I've caught one in kind of every little spot I've go gone to here. This is 25 feet right now. I haven't found any pattern to really set me into one area for the day. Oh, that mark charged it. That mark's aggressive. Come on, come on. Oh, it tapped it. Come on, what happened? How did I miss it? It's still open water. Crazy. Easter landing. Wow, that was that was a light bite. That was weird. It was weird. Weird, 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 weird. Doesn't feel very big. Doesn't feel very big, but it's a fish, right? It's a fish, right species? Yeah, it's gone, it's gonna let it go anyway. It's perfect. I thought about grabbing it and I'm like, do I really wanna shove my hand all the way in that icy cold water right now? No, wasn't big enough. But yeah, flutter spoon's still producing as the day is starting to wind down here. Caught a couple fish uh, during the day, nothing crazy that's probably gonna make the video. We're hoping that uh, prime time though, Prime time, right? Prime time. Love that word. It's going to heat up a bit. I don't know if I showed the gold one yet. This is the gold one I'm using now. I think I did earlier. Listen to that. Sounds so good. Flutter spoons. You gotta love them. See, and the slower you let it fall, the closer it's going to end up to the center of your hole, which is 
when you're marking fish, what you want to do, right? You have it's falling, you want to just kind of stop it for a quick second, let it fall, stop it, let it fall. See right now, this time when I dropped it, I dropped it right below my hole, and I did that because I was marking fish. If it wasn't marking fish, I'm gonna let it free fall out to one of the sides. He wants it moving. I think it's a Cisco. I'm almost positive that's a Cisco, but I got him to eat anyway. I'd be curious to see if that was a walleye or a Cisco. My guess is it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. This can't be a Cisco. That mark was crazy. Like, it took forever to get him to eat, and I brought him way, way up. Yeah, see? Cisco, but I cut him the top. That's what I figured. This is what uh, those walleyes are are chasing this is what they're eating right now cisco's this is why there's uh some walleyes that'll cruise through here eventually these things right here some mark up there 27 we we'll get above them just in case it's a walleye it's a pretty big mark actually it could be a cisco i've got my gain cranked up quite a bit oh it's coming back let's see what it does here very very flighty oh here it comes here it comes. Yep, that was, I was gonna say, that mark just seemed, even though it was up about three, four feet off the bottom, it seemed a little bit too big of a mark for a Cisco. The mark went all the way back down, or the fish went all the way back down. I was able to drop down to it. I'm trying to get my transducer here. It's a good looking walleye. It's a good looking walleye. Look how amazing that looks underneath the ice. Oh, I'll never get sick of that. That is unbelievable. Swim over here now. That's a good walleye. That's a good walleye. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on. That's a 10-inch hole. <laughs> okay. I've got some confidence in the dinner bell now. <laughs> I had a feeling, you know, I'm like, that's just too big of a mark to be a Cisco, even though it was about three, four feet off the bottom. It, the mark went back down. It shot down there. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, <laughs> it doesn't want to get picked up. Yes, that is an awesome fish right there. Dinner bell, right in the top lip. Pop it out and send her back home. I don't know, it's probably about a 25, 25 inch or something like that. Not a, not a giant, just a very, very respectable fish. It's been a, a slow day, but sights like this right around the hole are so worth it. There she goes. So good. Guys, I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's prime time, baby. So as I was saying, <laughs> pretty sure I interrupted myself like 20 times because that fish looks so cool swimming around here. Mark was up like three, four feet off the bottom, went up to it, didn't eat. It went to the bottom. I just dropped the spoon all the way into the mud and then pulled it up, just kind of twitching it and it just shot up, shot up and ate it. So. Just like that, magic happens. Flutter spoons, baby. They're so much fun. Like, I think my, I've, I've obviously just did a video not too long ago with my favorite baits, but the flutter spoons, rattle baits, are probably my two favorite, I'd say, out of the top five. This is definitely bait up here. But there's another mark appearing down there right now. It, 28 feet. I just saw it flash, so we're gonna drop back down there. Oh no, it just came up. I'm doing big like three foot sweeps. When I'm not marking anything, sweep it. See that mark looks a little bit too big to be a Cisco. It's up again at 27 feet. No dice though, so we're gonna take it. Oh, oh, here comes here comes one from the bottom. Look at this one from the bottom. Look him straight up, straight up, straight up. Come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. That fish came up three feet to eat that spoon. Three feet. Walleye, like when they want to eat, it's on. It's not big, but like I said, he just came up like three feet to hammer that spoon. Crushed it. Oh, I just love watching the marks come up. It's so much fun. 
Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 It's charging. It's charging. It's charging. It doesn't feel very big. That's okay though. Not all gonna be big. It's not. It's not small though. I like to keep one for supper. So maybe if I get a, a fish that's a good supper size, I'm gonna keep one. Actually, this is just the perfect size right there. This one is coming home with me. <laughs> See? If I want to get him out of the hole, I can. Nice, nice supper size, 17 incher. Mm, you're gonna taste good. This little chair is uh, pretty handy, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. My knees have been so sore from kneeling and fishing. This has been nice. And it's like you can like kick the legs out as you go to like kneel towards the hole and get your transducer. Very handy. Slick little pickup, $14.99 from Cabela's. Look at this mark come up three, four feet off the bottom. They're, just, they're liking it up higher. They're liking it like three, four feet off the bottom if I hold it there. Look, there's another mark that was showed up on the bottom again. Little, this is a little guy. I'm not even gonna take the gloves off this time, bud. I'm gonna keep my gloves warm, or one of them. One of my hands warm, I should say, at the moment. Not my gloves warm. Come on, open up. Open up. There we go, bud. Okay. I love prime time. Have I ever said that before? I've got something coming out. I've got shirts coming out. Maybe hoodies too. I haven't decided yet. But somebody designed me a sick, sick logo for him. If anybody ever needs like a logo or anything built, please let me know. I've got a guy that's solid. He's really, really good. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. They're biting it light as they're coming up for it, but they are... They're coming up three, four feet off the bottom. This one's really tiny. Look, at this one didn't get me out of my chair. <laughs> but they're they're coming straight up off the bottom. Three, four feet and just sucking it in. Okay, buddy. Like I said, that guy didn't even get me off my chair. <laughs> See, you can always put things together. You can always learn things out there there's it's always impossible anybody that ever says they know everything is out to lunch there's always something to learn always you're constantly learning more figuring things out right like like i'm i'm jigging this like like i said three four feet above their heads and they're coming up and it's weird because you can tell they're coming straight underneath it too right because the way that they're taking the hook they're not like hitting it at an angle sideways. They're literally coming straight up at it. See, look, here he comes again. And as they're gaining speed, I'm starting to pull it away a bit, but it's like, it's been hard to even detect the bite. Like, look at, here he comes again. Now this doesn't always work like that, but you know what? I know that's a smaller mark. I'm gonna drop it right past them to the bottom because there's a bunch of stuff going on there right now. And I'm gonna take my chance. Like, look at the screen right now. I don't even know what's down there right now. If it's Cisco's, if it's bait, school walleye, what? But we're just gonna jig, jig fr frantically and hope that uh, the biggest fish of the bunch picks it up off the bottom or something. <laughs> Honestly, that fish was on longer than I thought. It's just the way that they're eating it. It's really hard to detect the bite. They're not, they're not pounding it. Like they're not inhaling it. They're just sucking it in. It's a very, very light bite. Very light bite. Nice fish though. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Nice specimen. But they're just, the spoon's up like that and they're just coming up and they're hardly sucking it in. But they are eating it. Not a very aggressive bite tonight. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, come on. 
man, you know, it's nice to have a good suit to be able to sit outside like this. Like, I'm not cold at all. Granted, it's a nice day, but right now when the sun drops, though, like, it's it's nippy. 5.09, sun must have just set, probably. Got about, probably about a half an hour of light left. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Played with that fish for a little bit. I, who knows, it could be a different fish. There's so many of them down there right now, right? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know how many fish are, ooh, so hard on the knees, hard on the knees. How many fish are down there? What do we got here? Doesn't feel very big, I don't think. No? But it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Oh, 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 chikai, 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 chikai. Easy girl, easy. Look at the screen right now. I know my transducer isn't in, but it's still reading just off. Look at the screen, holy. You guys, it is just a, there's walleye everywhere right now. Thick, 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 thick. Just gotta weed through and try, hopefully get a, hopefully smash a big one, right? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, I gotta get these sunglasses off. Oh, here we go. You'll notice I'm I'm running just six pound fluorocarbon leader. When I'm fishing outside, a lot of times, I don't know if it's gonna be a little bit chillier and stuff might ice up. I don't use braid a lot. I like the fluoro because you can really just take the ice and you can slide it down your line. Now the, the Power Pro braided line works pretty good until the waxing, the wax coat wears off and then uh, it just becomes like a regular braid and it'll soak up the water. But when I'm fishing, outside without the shack oh oof, i just biffed like that was such a light bite if i'm fishing outside of the shack that's what i'll, I'll do i'll run like a straight floral leader sometimes I'll, I'll use braid too especially i'm going to be switching rods a lot but in the shack especially if i'm fishing 30 feet of water like this i'm usually running a braid with a, a floral a floral leader you guys did you like that biff like me biffing on that fish <laughs> little guy they're just coming off the bottom it's just it's non-stop like non-stop you guys like i'm not even going to be putting every fish in the video like i don't even know how many i've caught tonight like 20 30 it's just it's it's off the wall like a lot of a lot of small guys like this there's uh nothing uh, crazy for size but yeah, insane, just insane. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to put a big walleye in every video, but uh, you know, I'm out here, I'm out here trying to get it done. I'm out here, just out here, you know, doing my thing. Trying to get it done, working, working for the YouTube world. I'd like to give a special thank you today or a special shout out to somebody. Um, it's my girlfriend's birthday today, so thank you Cindy for letting me go fishing and trying to get a video done on this beautiful, beautiful day. I promise you if it would have been minus 30, I'd have stayed at home and cooked you a nice supper. I'll make it up to you on Friday, I promise, which will already be over by this, but uh, I don't know if you'll watch this video or not because it seems like you're a little behind on videos lately, girl. But anyways, happy birthday. I love you very much. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. That is gonna wrap up this video. I tried to talk about one thing on the ice, but when I did, I realized I screwed up the audio and this was the spoons because when I took my case and I went and I went, I slammed it right into my audio like this over and over again. And I was making a mess out of everything. So this here, right, this case, this is a case made by Plano. Uh, it has a nice foam insert in it, so I keep all my spoons. But anyways, what I was using, there's a couple of colors I was using, I'll pull them out right here real quick, was uh, this little blue guy here, this little glow in the dark one here, white, and then I was using the gold one, which I think I still have tied on a, a rod right there. But a couple other options for uh, flutter, flutter spoons, flutter style spoons that work real great. This is a slender spoon made by Custom Custom jigs and spins, something like that. I don't know. I, I can't remember. This is a quarter ounce though. 
it's got a really good uh, action in terms of like it'll slide way, way, way out to the side, cover a bunch of water. And another option I was using last year that's going to be probably out of all those these three spoons that have the last the least amount of kind of fall rate to the side this is a buckshot flutter spoon this worked really well for me last year caught some big fish on that too so yeah there's a couple different options but this case is really really handy for your jigging spoons i said it's made by plano it's uh been really good for keeping all the paint on the 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 spoons right gotta keep the paint on the spoons but yeah so thanks for watching we got more videos coming soon I'm headed back out for another trip or I'm packing for another trip as uh, I speak here in the garage. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, get outside.